Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforay.com. Today the topic of our discussion is what is the difference between old biotechnology and new biotechnology? A very short video on the exact meaning of these two terms widely used in biotechnology. Let's start with a definition of biotechnology. It's a simple definition. It is a controlled use of biological agents such as microorganisms or cellular components for beneficial use maybe for making some products or for services. Let's take some examples to understand how old is biotechnology. Is it a new technology? Definitely no, that is why we have a term old biotechnology or ancient biotechnology. Let's take some examples to understand the concept. So domestication of plants and animals, there starts biotechnology. We have been using plants and animals from the time immemorial that is from the beginning of from the very beginning of civilization then we have number of products milk products where we are using microorganisms in curd making then in cheese making then we have been using yeast and many other microorganisms in wining and brewing industries in flavoring industries these are all biotechnological processes where we are using microorganisms so these examples constitute the old biotechnology that we have been practiced from the time immemorial. That is why these examples or this technology is called as old biotechnology. Now let us define old biotechnology in the right sense. Old biotechnology or traditional biotechnology refers to the processes that are based on the inherent capacity of microorganisms or biological agents for carrying out a reaction ultimately leading to a product. We are actually using these microorganisms even without knowing what is actually happening. So the capacity of microorganisms or biological agents will convert it into a useful product. Here comes the difference of modern biotechnology or new biotechnology. Let's take some examples of modern biotechnology. As we all know, this is humulin. Humulin is produced in bacterium by introducing human insulin gene. This is the most common insulin now available in market. Previously, we have insulin from pigs and cows. Now we have humulin, which is very effective and which doesn't have any immunologic reaction compared to pig and cow insulin. So we have inserted the human insulin gene in bacterium and bacterium is just like a factory producing insulin for us. Second example is golden rice. Golden rice as we all know it is a vitamin A rich rice where vitamin A gene precursor is introduced so that population feeding on these rice won't be deficient of vitamin A or vitamin A deficiency associated diseases can be prevented. And this is a famous example that is flavor saver tomato, first GM crop that is released. And this tomato is having an increased shelf life this by silencing the ripening gene that is polycalactouronis gene using antisense technology, a technology that silences the undesirable effect of a particular gene that is a ripening gene so that the shelf life of that particular crop is increased. So these are examples of modern biotechnology. In all these cases, gene manipulation has happened. It is the basis of all these products. In modern biotechnology, we know the exact gene and we have introduced that gene and we have manipulated in the genomic level so ultimately forming a product of our desirable quality. Let's define modern biotechnology as the manipulations of genes or genome for making it more desirable or to synthesize a valuable product. Gene manipulation is the core of modern biotechnology that includes recombinant DNA technology, tissue culture, etc. So in conventional biotechnology or traditional biotechnology, we are using the inherent capacity of microorganisms or biological agents to make desirable products, whereas in the case of modern biotechnology or new biotechnology, we are actually manipulating the genes as per our needs in order to make a product desirable. And that's the basic difference between old biotechnology and new biotechnology. Hope you are clear with these two terms. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.